what you are about to see is inspired by true events. Can't get enough true crime. Hey, that's why. Come on. Calm down. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 horror movies inspired by true events. Our first list on the top 10 horror movies inspired by true events was so popular, we decided to spotlight 10 more horror flicks that were based in reality. <laughs> Get ready to get scared. <laughs> Number 10, Them. Allo? Inspired by the story of a husband and wife that were killed by three teenagers while traveling in the Czech Republic. Quelqu'un? Bouge pas! Oh, This film begins with the couple being awoken by a group of assailants at 3 in the morning and then being tortured by their random attackers. Luca! 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 No evidence has surfaced to support this film's suggestion that it was based in reality, but the fact that it might have been makes it all the more scary, as it plays on our fears of random, senseless crimes. <laughs> Number 9. Prime Evil Nobody sees little Gustav, except those he means to kill. Man-eating animals are always terrifying, but none more so than Gustav. <laughs> A one-ton, 20-foot-long crocodile that lives and kills in Burundi. In real life, it's alleged that this terrifying creature has killed upwards of 300 people, though an exact number is hard to determine. Little Gustav rules the land, the crocodile rules the water. But what is confirmed is that Gustav's rep has reached legendary proportions. That's why Primeval billed Gustav as a prolific serial killer, likening him to Jack the Ripper and the Zodiac Killer. Number eight, The Strangers. You found who, Jordan? Who did you find? There's blood on the walls. Help us! Jordan, Jordan Help calm us. down. Director-screenwriter Brian Bertino drew from personal experience as well as the Keddy Cabin murders and the Manson murders for this flick. <laughs> Bertino stated he remembers a group of people knocking on the doors in his neighborhood asking if a made-up person was home. Is Tamara here? No. No, you got the wrong house. If no one answered the door, they would rob the house. His movie reverses that occurrence and instead focuses on a group wanting to kill innocents in their homes for no reason. Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. Number seven, A Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> It's hard to believe there's even a grain of truth to this fantastical blockbuster story. You okay, Tina? Just a dream, Ma. Some dream, judging from that. But truth is stranger than fiction. Wes Craven loosely based his franchise on a series of deaths he read about in the 70s, where a group of Cambodian refugees experienced horrific nightmares which led to insomnia and sleep deprivation. Don't fall asleep. Worse yet, a few died suddenly in their sleep despite having no other medical problems. And that's how the nightmare figure of Freddy Krueger was born. <laughs> Number six, compliance. Mr. I don't know who you are, but I don't think it's right to see a lady like this in the buff. Well, it's an investigation. Harold, listen to me. As an officer of the law, I'm going to need you to inspect her. The most chilling thing about this story has to be the cruelty some are willing to afflict on the innocent. Don't you, Becky, what did I say to you about clean, clean, clean? 
Sandra, you got a phone call in the back, it's a policeman. Starting in the early 90s, various fast food restaurants in the United States began to complain about prank calls to their stores, in which a supposed police officer would accuse an employee of a crime. I'm gonna need you to have her stripped down now, look through everything. The officer would then ask the manager to interrogate and harass the employee in various ways. Compliance focuses on an eerily similar incident that happened in 2004, Mount Washington, Kentucky. I want you to tell her to turn around and bend over. Why? Number five, an American haunting. The story of the Bell Witch has always been considered to be a tall tale. This is not so. Much like the Blair Witch Project, this movie draws inspiration from the Bell Witch legend of Adams, Tennessee. According to lore, the family of John Bell, a farmer in the 1800s, was targeted by a dead witch known as Kate Batts. Batts' poltergeist apparently harassed the family by physically abusing them, making them hear sounds, and displacing objects in their house. She mainly targeted the family's youngest, Betsy, but also poisoned John Bell. Switching between the 19th and 21st centuries, An American Haunting brings this terrifying tale into the present day. Number four, Wolf Creek. Well, lucky you, Sheila's a traveling with a bloke. Can't be too careful. <laughs> Rather than being based on one set of circumstances, this film is an amalgamation of various real life events. However, it mostly borrows from the abduction, assault, and murder of British traveler Peter Falconio and his girlfriend, Joanne Lees. Little down, you know, that's not gonna kill ya, right? Yeah, I got a bullet on my neck and I'm not whinging, am I? Paralleling the events of the movie, the couple was driving through the Australian outback when their car was flagged down by a stranded motorist. Lees managed to escape, but heard gunshots. Falconia was never seen again, and his body hasn't been recovered. Number three, The Haunting in Connecticut. You're not gonna be scared in here all alone? I've got my toys. After moving to Connecticut to be closer to their cancer-stricken son's doctor, the real-life Snedeker family discovered their new home used to be a funeral parlor. Even worse, those who ran the mortuary practiced necromancy and necrophilia. Claiming to be plagued by a demonic presence, the family experienced random occurrences of blood on the floor, hearing sounds, and seeing ghostly figures. The house was examined by Ed and Lorraine Warren and exorcised in 1988. This is one case where the true story may be scarier than the film. I have to get his remains out of the house. It's either you or them, one way or the other. Number two, Henry, portrait of a serial killer. He killed his mama. Don't you ever tell him I told you. Henry Lee Lucas seems like the stuff of a fictitious nightmare, but unfortunately, he's based on a real life serial killer. Give me the $50 and get out! I'll give you $50! Ah! Active between the years of 1960 and 1983, the real killer claimed to have committed over 600 murders. Even though his claims are false, he was convicted of 11 killings. The film states that it was inspired by his life and fantasies more than his actual murders. But it did get many details right, including his childhood abuse by his prostitute mother and his partnership with Otis Toole. I'd like to kill somebody. Say that again. I'd like to kill somebody. Must mean you go for a ride, Otis. 
Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Here's Johnny! Number one. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. The muscle contractions could feel like an extreme pressure on the body. And it is certainly possible with all that brain activity for a person to perceive all sorts of strange and violent things. This film is based on the life of Annalise Michel, who in 1975 was a 23-year-old woman already suffering from a long-documented battle with medical conditions like epilepsy and depression. When Emily saw objects move on their own and felt an invisible presence on top of her. Was she experiencing symptoms typical of epilepsy? Not typical, no. Due to her various seizures and sudden repulsion by religious objects, her parents contacted the Catholic Church, who commissioned two priests to secretly exercise her. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil! The ritual led to disastrous results, and she eventually died of malnutrition and dehydration. This movie expands on that story by following the exorcist as he's tried for her negligent homicide. And I am Lucifer, the devil in the flesh. Do you agree with our list? Which horror story can you not believe is true? For more chilling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You see his face? You see his face?